Hello everyone and welcome back to X-Plane 11 where I am going to test out the Aerobasque Fokker DR1. This is a freeware plane from a publisher that normally produces payware planes and so I'm expecting it to be fairly high quality and it was just released onto the xplane.org forums and I was excited to see it because I'm sort of in a World War I airplane mood. You might have noticed that from the Rise of Flight uh, video. I, I wanted to fly biplanes and maybe a triplane. Hey, more wings, the better, right? Something like that. Anyway, so we're going to take off at uh, Cologne and see what happens. Okay, so here we are in the Fokker DR1 and unfortunately I was not recording when it loaded the plane because uh, loading this particular area took a while so I didn't record that part but when I got into the plane it played a piece of music which was interesting but here it is and well I mean, it's not, it wasn't ever going to be the most detailed cockpit in the world. I mean, in terms of being complicated, it's obviously detailed enough. Alright, uh, let's see. Well, we're moving when I release the brakes. Um, I can't, you know, see where I'm going necessarily, as usual with tail draggers. That's sort of a taxiway thing. Why don't we just take off? Well, that's the worst that could happen. Oh, okay, that's a bit vigorous. Oh, that probably looked a lot worse. Let's let's see from this view what happens. Very nimble. I don't know if the shading is quite right right now. Oh, oh, it's really torquing. Oh, it really starts getting right about 15 knots, which is a little bit early. <laughs> I'd really prefer if it didn't. Let me just put full throttle and maybe... Oh, okay, full throttle is better than trying to do partial throttle and... Normally with tail draggers, I try and smoothly increase the throttle, but it seems like just pushing it forward this time worked much better. We'll test a little bit further. Well, shooting the guns, I don't know how that happens. None of my normal trigger buttons are working right now. I guess we should follow the little cars, huh? On the highway. I wonder if the signs are like area appropriate. I doubt it. I can't really read them right now though. No, I think they're just generic. Yeah. These planes can be a lot of fun. There was a challenge in uh, Microsoft Flight Sim 10 uh, where you were trying to land, I, I forget which plane, on a truck. It could have been the Piper Cub. I think it might have been the Piper Cub. It was a moving truck, of course, but I am not going to try that right now. But this is definitely the kind of plane that could do such things, if you set it upright. I think that was a legit sign, was it? I wonder if we can fly underneath the signs. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. Uh, uh, Stefano, me? I don't know, I don't think so. Oh, maybe. God. Is that much detail? So I got a lot of um, 
scenery packages from uh, freeware scenery packages for uh, Germany. It leads to a lot of lag in faster planes, but not so bad when you're in a Fokker triplane. So, oh, it really wants to nose down. There's no trim on here, I don't think, so. I guess it's just gonna be like that. So there's no telling what kind of details there may or may not be in the area. Let's try and go more towards the city center or something. It really can turn on a dime. I don't know if I can... Uh, oh, oh. I pushed the G limits too. The negative Gs, negative Gs were too bad. Okay, well, anyway, this will give me a good chance to um, try take off again. Oh, I don't like the fact that the engine sound is still going. Okay. I didn't try to start up. Oh, what? Oh, no. I don't have a wing anymore because I blew it off. Don't tell me there's like persistent. Well, let's see here. Configuration. Game mode, simulation, see music? Uh, oh, only in cold and dark is the music, uh, music on. Alright. Um, engine running, yeah, engine running, motor casing. But, what's with the, well, what's with the wings though? <laughs> I, I've, I've encountered a problem. Okay, maybe I'll load a different plane and then load this one. Um, there was another freeware plane that uh, was just released on the forums, this glider. I'll just load it up as a way of reloading the Fokker triplane, maybe. Okay, we have wings again. Uh, I'm not gonna be towed, right? <laughs> maybe that was just lingering. Alright, let's see if I can take off based on prior experience. So, last time... God, those shadows, though. Oh, that's down to my settings, I suppose. Um, it seems like just flooring it is the best technique. And... Yep, yep, just floor it. Not much of a takeoff run necessary, of course. Looks like vaguely in this direction is the river. Is that right? Yeah. We can see the taller buildings over there. Hold on a sec. Um, let me let me see how to shoot the guns. That's currently used as general action command. Uh, I don't remember ever using space before, so... Alright, we'll go with it. Uh, joystick, though. Fire guns is ready on on the button that's supposed to be, so it doesn't seem to do anything. We'll try it. Maybe I'm not carrying ammo, I don't know, but it's not doing anything. So yeah, I don't think we can shoot. It's a strictly civilian Fokker DR1. Well, I see a bridge up ahead there. Is it a high enough bridge for this? I don't know. I don't even know how the colliders work on these things. There might not be a, a collider on the bridge at all. So... Well, I don't know if I cleared it or not, so... Tough. It's tough sometimes. Whoa, whoa, oh, I overstretched it. I overstressed it. I let it drift down. It wants to nose down for some reason, quite persistently. I doubt that that's how it's designed, but seems a bit nose. Well, I guess we could adjust that. 
I'm missing my wing again, aren't I? Okay, I'll load something else and then load this again. So actually, what we can do is change the center of gravity. I think it's nose heavy. So I'm going to move it one inch back and see how that feels. Okay, seems from the shadow that we have wings. Very good. So I want to take off and then just test its balance and touch down again. Okay, floor it. Okay. So when I let it go, this is what happens, right? It's very... It has a strong tendency to go down. I mean, it's not unreasonable, necessarily. I mean, it might be right that that's how it is. It just feels... This is a little bit more gradual. Maybe... Let's go extreme and see if changing it in flight actually works, because I'm not sure. This could... I don't, I don't know if it did or not, or whether we have to reload. Yep, tough to say. Well, let me try and land it, and then we'll... Um... We'll shift the center of gravity and load it directly. Well, we can take advantage of its ability to turn on a dime, hopefully. But since it took off at like 30 knots, we're going to have to slow down a bit here. Okay, not bad. Oop, don't lean forward too much. Oh, oh, well, it's gonna do the f turny thing. Ah, it seems to want to do that thing. All right, brakes, 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 brakes. Okay, all right, let me reload the plane, I'm trying to move the center of gravity. I Maybe it had an effect, I don't know. I guess five inches. I mean, we could really tell if I move it really far back, maybe. Instead it applied changes. Whoa! Hmm, I think we're gonna have to reload. Okay, so I've moved the center mass to, or center gravity to minus six inches. Let me just see how this works. No, no, no. Okay, so that's too far forward, obviously. 
That that would not be good. Whoa! Ah, it's almost KSP physics, isn't it? Yep. Good times. Uh, new flight. Uh, probably new flight. I don't know if it's gonna give me a wing or not. Okay, so that's not good. Okay, so two inches back is where we have it. It still sort of wants to nose down, but I guess this is the best we can do. I think it's better than the initial configuration if you move it like this. Anyway, but there you have it, the Arabesque Fokker DR1. Lots of fun. If you don't mind going a little bit slower than normal, let's see if we can do a loop to loop. If you really want to sightsee a place though, this is definitely the way to go. Let's just make a U-turn, cut the power. I don't know if the runway's long enough. You could always do like take off and then uh, try and land on the runway. Try that out. I mean, well, you'll have to get to full power first. Take off, hit 100 knots, and then try and land. Shouldn't be too hard. Once you hit about 50 knots, it wants to go, definitely wants to just sink. Oh, I don't want to hurt the propeller though. I don't know if it really has brakes. It, it always wants to do this. No matter what I do with the rudder, it wants to tip over a little bit. But okay. Anyway. At least it survives that. So, well, it's easier to deal with than Ilya Muramets, so there we have it. <laughs> anyway, a little bit of fun, an interesting freeware plane to try out. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.